Hello, this is Alexis and Annalise. We will be teaching you today about ratios. We will use a scientific method in our process. This word problem is on the ratio of men to women in a factory. Problem is, the ratio of men to the number of women in a factory is 3 to 8. There are 120 more women than men. If the number of men increases by 3 and the number of women decreases by 12, what will be the new ratio of the number of men to the number of women? We were given constraints or guidelines to keep things easy to understand and organize. The constraints are, be sure to document each step you use in the problem solving process, present at least one model to represent your answer, present a mathematical equation to represent your answer, and have a debrief prepared to present to the class. To help understand the problem, we did research on the problem. Since we already knew about ratios, we decided to use some definitions instead. The definitions are factory and ratio. A factory is a noun, and it is a building or a group of buildings with facilities for the manufacture of goods. A ratio is a noun, and it means a proportional relation, such as rate. Our hypothesis was very simple. We hypothesized that in the new ratio, the number of men, women will still be larger than the number of men because the amounts of people that increase and decrease are not large. For visual learners, we did a simple model that explains the answer. At first, we doubled each of the numbers in the first ratio until the difference be between them was 120. The, the numbers were 72 and 192. Then we knew that the men increased by 3 and the women decreased by 12, which gave us 75 and 180. We reduced it down by dividing it first by 5, then by 3, which gave us our answer, 5 to 12. This slide is to show our process and explain the process a little bit better. We came up with two equations, one for men and one for women, then we combined and we solved for numbers. We knew the difference of the numbers was 120, so we worked with the numbers until the difference was 120. Then we added 3 to men and subtracted 12 from women, which gave us 75 to 180, which reduces to 5 twelfths. We conclude that our hypothesis is correct and that the number of women in the end ratio will still be larger than the number of men. On the side, we put the hypothesis just to refresh your memory, which is, we hypothesize that in the new ratio, the number of women will still be larger than the number of men because the amounts of people that increase and decrease are not large. Our extension helps to apply to other everyday things in life or real life situation, situations. Our extension are, is, you have just been hired at a cow farm and your job is to find the ratio of bulls to steers. If there are 50 more bulls than steers and the number of steers is 150, what will the ratio of bulls to steers be? Our extension analysis is, first we find the number of each bulls and steers and then we reduce it down. The number of steers are 150 and the number of bulls are 200. Then we must reduce it by 50, which gives us 4 to 3. If you've enjoyed or had problems understanding this, please click on the YouTube link above and leave comments or questions.